Hey everyone, Classic One here. I'm back after my three week trip to Portugal. That's what this video is about. I am showing you my massive haul from Portugal. Uh, and I have a lot of great things that we're gonna go through and we're gonna talk a little bit about the stuff. I'm gonna try and remember all the places that I purchased this goods uh, and then give you a price of how much I paid for them. Um, we have stuff from clothing to figures to games to random stuff to crazy things. We have a lot of stuff and you know me, I love to find some crazy stuff. Uh, so let's get into it right away. First, I'm going to show you uh, so many things to show you guys, but there's one thing that I'm saving till the end, which is going to be a massive amount of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the smaller random things that I've found. Uh, first, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, yeah, so we went to Coimbra with my cousin who I love very much and with my brother and we went and there was a whole bunch of shops on the street and I found an old vintage store that was selling vinyl albums. You, go, you guys know I love buying vinyl. Uh, so I picked up two vinyl albums from classic 80s movies, uh, 80s and 90s movies, classic 80s and 90s movies. Uh, the first one I picked up was Salsa the motion picture soundtrack. Uh, now, my mom is a huge fan of this movie. I actually really enjoyed it, and it has some really, really amazing music. So I found this there for 10 euros. Uh, so I picked it up, and it is mint. The thing I've noticed about Portuguese people is they really know how to take care of their stuff, unlike here in North America. We're a bunch, we're more bummy. Uh, a lot of people don't really take care of their stuff, which you can tell when you go out to like used stores, like used gaming, which I've seen absolutely ridiculous damaged products, um, vinyl albums, movies, whatever. So I got that one and I also got Streets of Fire. Now this one is a rare one. I didn't expect to find this one. Uh, this is an awesome uh, 84 movie uh, and it actually has William Dafoe as one of the bad guys. He is part of the uh, bike gang that our main character fights with. Uh, and it is such an awesome movie. If you've not seen either any of these movies, uh, definitely, definitely go and see it because there is some great, great films. Um, one has a lot of great dance scenes, one, the other has a lot of great action scenes. Uh, it's definitely a movie that you should see. Like I said, I found that at Queenbra for 10 euros each, so that is 20 euros right there, which is not a bad thing, actually. Uh, $10, uh, basically, with the transition of money, about, about $15 each uh, record album compared to some that are going for 40, 50 bucks here. Uh, and these I've never seen here, so I made sure to get them. Next up, I'm gonna show you a couple of shirts, actually. I'm gonna show you one that I got uh, at Continent uh, in Rio de Sol before we left uh, for Canada. And it is an awesome, awesome Universal Studios um, t-shirt, which shows Back to the Future, Jaws, E.T., and Jurassic Park, which of course, three of those movies are my absolute favorites. I love E.T., but it's not one of my favorite movies. Got this at the Continent, which is like our Walmarts. Uh, and regular price was 10 euros and I got it on sale for five euros. Uh, and it's a shirt that you don't see here. It is very color, like, I love the blue and the red colors and the black and white designs of the and the Lorian, the shark, and the T-Rex, and the E.T. Uh, just a, such a cool, cool shirt. So I found that one. Also in Coimbra, uh, my awesome cousin bought me this amazing shirt, which I actually really love. Uh, basically, it's just a forest, and it says, uh, where the souls wander. Uh, very, very awesome shirt. The one thing about Europe compared to us is that they really know how to dress. Their fashion is so much better than ours. Um, and they have so many cool shirts, pants, different styles of stuff. Uh, definitely a, a different way of living. I got that in Coimbra for, I think it was 10 euros uh, that she paid for that shirt for me, it was on sale. Uh, very, very cheap stuff there, especially for us because uh, we pay a lot more here in North America, especially for food uh, and uh, products. We do get paid more, but the funny thing is, is that a lot of stuff is a lot cheaper there, which is why I went kind of nuts and bought lots of stuff. Next up, I'm going to show you a cool thing that's from up in the Serra, from Aldea de Serra and Tor and, and Sima. And that is 
Liquor de Castaña, which means it is alcohol made from chestnuts. I'm a huge, huge fan of chestnuts. And I tried this up in Tour. And it, it basically Tour is the destination, the skiing destination of Portugal up in the mountains. It's very close to where we live. Uh, so I got a small bottle. I was gonna get a bigger bottle, but the trouble is, you know, you start to run out of space and your luggage. Uh, so I got a small bottle and I'm gonna open it because I'm dying to, I, I've tasted it up there, which is really cool because you can have taste tests. Uh, people are handing you cheese, not that I'm a cheese fan, but people are handing you cheese, people are handing you uh, meats and stuff. It, it definitely is a different way of life there, a better way of life I find uh, compared to here in North America. Um, and it's just, it's such a culture shock to a lot of you if you've never been overseas to Europe. Uh, you're gonna notice that things are done so differently over there. Um, and it's, honestly, it's a different way of life. I, I, I can't stress how much of a life changing moment is to be there. So we're gonna put that, I'm gonna take a nice taste test I got. I'm gonna pop that off, pop up the cork. Oh, so good. I got my awesome trusty uh, Batman uh, shot glass here. It's gonna take a little bit. I don't want to drink too much. Oh, oh it's such good stuff. So good. Oh, so, so good. Oh God. Very happy I managed to bring that one. Got this, like I said, up in Tor for five euros, which is not bad. Alcohol is very cheap and very easy to find in Portugal. I'm not much of a big drinker, but this was so good when I tried it. I needed it being a chestnut fan even more. So I got that in up there. What else can I show you that is not mixed? I think, did I, did I really show you all stuff that doesn't relate to a certain person? I think it did. All right, so we're getting into the main course of this video. And I'm gonna talk about it for a while because it is shocking. You guys know, well, actually, hold on, no, wait, wait, wait. Before I show you guys the other main thing, I'm gonna show you guys the other stuff I got, which I'm, I'm looking at it right here and it's not from a certain person. I'm a huge physical game collector. You guys know that physical to me is everything. I hate digital, I hate digital with a passion. Uh, but physical media is one of those things that is a must for me as a collector. And I go to Portugal and I find games that have physical copies of games that, and here we do not. North America is very lazy. We're probably the laziest uh, part of the world for releasing physical game media, especially when other countries have physical releases of games that we should have as well. Um, so I went in there and I found a bunch of stuff. Uh, I got five games here that I purchased. One game I bought because it was cheaper than, than up here. Uh, and that being the Pokemon Shiny Pearl game that I bought in uh, Saya in the continent. Uh, I got this one because in North America it's $79.99 plus tax, which roughly comes to $90 Canadian. This bad boy was on sale in the continent in Wharton, which is a small electronic shop located inside Edge in every continent. Uh, and I got this for a whopping 29 euros, which translation of money is about $36 Canadian, saving me a shitload of money. Uh, and I picked it up because I haven't had it and it was very, very freaking cheap. Now remember, games from all over the world will play on your Switch and it will play in English. So it is definitely one of those things. If you find something cheap back there, do buy it because I do not want to pay $79 Canadian for this. Uh, and uh, like I said, finding it for 29 euros in Portugal, in Sea, which is really, really great. Uh, I got it to play. They had diamond marked at 49 euros, no, sorry, 44 euros. And this one for 29 euros. So I bought this one right away, only to find out that they had the wrong price on it. But because the price is there, I got it. Now remember in Portugal and most of Europe, there is no tax on the products. Tax is already included in the price you're paying for each and every product, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. So whatever price you see there is the price you're getting. So got that, 
I'm so happy I did because, like I said, saved me about $55 uh, Canadian. Got that guy. Next up is a digital game that came out uh, uh, not too long ago, the collection that released worldwide around physically, except for North America, because I have no idea why, and that is the Canola series. Now, I know I'm probably spelling that and saying that wrong, but it is the uh, Fantasy Revere series. You get part one and part two of this classic game that came out for the PlayStation 2 era, uh, and I wanted a physical copy of it because I'm a collector. I hate I hate digital. I hate it with passion. I, would, I won't spend money on a digital game unless it's very, very cheap on sale. I picked this guy up in Vizos, uh, in the, the um, Palacio de Gilu, which is a mall in Vizu, one of the bigger cities uh, that's close to my home. And my favorite store ever, it's called Fnac, which is basically Portugal's version, uh, Portugal's better version of our shitty Best Buys, uh, which are, don't get me started, Best Buys one of the worst uh, stores in the world. Uh, and I picked it up for 49 euros. Now, a lot of games I purchased and I did not spend that much. Basically, I think spent 200 and something dollars on games, uh, which is not, not expensive at all, especially with the price point. Uh, so I picked this up, you get part one and you get part two. Now I can't stress enough to you guys, it plays in English and it is region free. Any game, any part of the world will work for your system. So I picked it up for 49 euros, which I'm so happy. Next is a game that I believe the Limited Run Games is doing, but I found it in Portugal and I got it, and it's called Final Vendetta, which is an awesome Streets of Rage type of game. It is done by uh, uh, Numskull Games, which I'm very, very happy because it looks amazing. I got this at Fnac as well for 39.99 euros, and I believe I got this one at Queen Bros Fnac. Uh, it wasn't in Vizio, I think this was Queen Bros. And I've got it for 39 euros. Uh, and it is awesome because Limited Games, I believe, is making this physical. I didn't get it because I wasn't sure I was going to like it. Got a physical copy there in Portugal, so I made sure to pick it up right away and I can play that. Next up is another game. It is called Tormented Souls, which is exactly uh, kind of like old uh, school Resident Evil games. Now, I have not played it. It is a classic survival horror game. I'm very excited to play it. Uh, it released digitally, of course, but uh, everywhere else there is a physical copy. This I got at the Vizu, uh, at the Vizu for $39.99 and Fnac, so I got that. And then I also got this one, which I don't know anything about. It's called Death's Gambit Afterlife. Uh, I also got this in Vizu's Fnac for 29 euros. Uh, so another cool, uh, cool, um, physical game that includes an art book and poster. Uh, and I haven't opened up any of these games. I'm gonna open up after I do my video because I have lots to go through. Uh, but I got five games for the price of, uh, of basically two Canadian games. Uh, and it's crazy because all these games should have been released physically here in North America. But like I said, North America is very lazy. We're a horrible part of the world that doesn't really uh, see the future of keeping stuff sealed or at least bringing a physical copy of the game as well as a digital copy. Uh, so I'm very excited that I got some physical hard hand games, especially the ones that I really wanted. It saved me so much money on importing them, uh, especially with uh, shipping being an absolute fortune nowadays. But let's get on with our next thing that I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna throw this over here so I don't knock anything down. Let me throw my drink over here. I don't wanna break anything. The one thing I do not want to do is break stuff, so let me push this down. Since we talked about the records, we don't need to talk about records no more. All right, so I've noticed that Portugal has become the Sonic the Hedgehog capital of the world. Guys, this part of the video is all Sonic the Hedgehog. I have found so many incredible Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise that I would never find here in North America, especially here in my hometown of London, Ontario, Canada. We have nothing. This is the worst uh, city to live in if you're in Ontario. Uh, we absolutely have no stores worth uh, seeing. Basically, I, I only know five stores that are on the top of my head are, are decent to go to, but I have found so many things there 
and there is going to be a mix. There's going to be some stuff that's actually um, licensed stuff uh, from Sonic the Hedgehog and Sega and some that aren't. Uh, and you'll know what I mean by it. So I'm going to go through by all the stuff that I got. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, let me see what I'm going to show you guys first. Uh, I'll show you the small stuff. So in Viso, there was this little store, this little loja, which is called store. Uh, and basically it was selling stuff for uh, back to school. And there's a lot of great stuff, a lot, a lot of Sonic in there, uh, which made me buy a lot of stuff. Uh, there was uh, Dragon Ball, there was a whole bunch of Mario stuff, uh, basically everything you can think of. So I went in there and I bought this awesome small um, lunch pail. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a lunch pail. Yeah, it kind of is a lunch pail. Good for a sandwich uh, of Sonic the Hedgehog. I paid three euros for it, uh, which is black and uh, which is blue and red. Uh, and it has the Sonic stuff inside. Now this is an official licensed uh, stuff, uh, licensed product. Uh, and it's cool because I haven't seen any anything from this here in Canada. Um, they, basically, I haven't seen anything Sonic related for a back to school and stuff like that, but we do back to school very differently. Uh, Portugal is more traditional with the papers, pens, and stuff like that here in North America, so who has the better cell phone. Uh, but I got that for three euros, which is so cool because I really wanted to have something like this. It's a cool feature. I'm not going to use it for a sandwich. This is for putting with my collection, but I did get that. Also in the same store, I picked up this very, very amazing Tails plushie, which is so nice. I haven't seen a plushie this nice here. Uh, it definitely is a North, uh, sorry, definitely is a European release, not a North American, uh, because the tags are UK. Uh, and I paid 23 euros for this guy, which isn't very expensive. You got Tails, you got these two Tails in the back. You guys know Tails is one of my favorite Sonic characters. Uh, I love Tails, uh, but it is a nice giant plushie, very soft, very colorful, and it is just such a beautiful, beautiful piece for my collection. Like I said, 23 euros at the say at that at the same store I bought the lunch pail. Uh, the girl loved me. She wanted me to come back. She would have gave me more deals on Sonic stuff, so I should have went back there and grabbed some more. So I got that, uh, and then I also got this very very awesome Sonic the Hedgehog pencil case. Like I said, it is very rare to find anything Sonic the Hedgehog in my hometown here. Uh, the GameStop basically is my only place to go to and that's where I bought most of my collection. Uh, but I don't see any of this stuff anywhere. And this is based off of the comic books. Uh, so I show it there, they got Knuckles there. This is based off of it. I haven't opened it. It's still uh, filled with the paper from the stuff. Got this at the same shop there in Brazil for 14 euros, and it is a Sonic licensed product, only released in the uh, in Europe. So you got all the uh, different countries. It's a very very amazing pencil case, but I'm not opening it. That's that's the one thing I'm not opening. That I'm very happy I got it though. Next up, um, I'm going to show you guys. Where did I get those guys? Ah, okay. I got these in Saya. Now these are non, uh, they're not licensed products. These are from China. There's a Chinese store uh, that is close to the continent uh, there in Seya. And I got a bunch of Sonic plushies. Now these are for the car, you can hang them in there. Now, uh, like I said, these aren't licensed Sonic products. These are uh, Chinese knockoffs. Uh, but I got Sonic, I got Amy, I got Knuckles, which Knuckles is my favorite one. I think he's the best designed one. Knuckles, and I also got Shadow the Hedgehog, which Shadow the Hedgehog kind of looks really weird, uh, but I got Shadow as well. So I picked up these guys, these four. I walked in there uh, and they had like a table where they had a bunch of different plushies. They had a lot of uh, Naruto stuff, which is cool too, uh, but they had these, uh, these plushies of Sonic there. And I was like, I grabbed them right away. I was like, I'm gonna take them. For five euros, I was able to pick up all four, uh, which I can tell you, it's not the easiest thing transferring, uh, you know, these from from Portugal to here, especially when you have so many things that you bought. So I picked these guys up because I'm a huge Sonic fan, and even though they're not licensed stuff, they're for my collection, and they look amazing. 
So I made sure to pick them up, all four of them. I cleaned house, uh, but I have like, for me personally, I would say Knuckles is my favorite. I think he's the best one. I really like Amy because she is from her um, classic look. And then I would say Sonic, because Sonic, you can't really mess up Sonic, but Shadow is kind of messed up. Shadow is kind of like the, the weird one, especially the spikes on the back, they should have really copied Sonic's look, but uh, I very happily have picked them up. Like I said, even though they're not licensed, uh, Sonic merchandise, they're still gonna look good in my collection. All right, so there is an awesome, awesome theta that happens in Viso, and you guys might be seeing the clip right now that I'm showing, but it is called Feta de Samantouche, and that is the best place. I absolutely love going there every year. The lights, the rides, it's kind of like our version of uh, the of a fair um, base and they have a whole bunch of vendors uh, selling product and this is I found like some very random weird stuff um, I found this keychain of Sonic the Hedgehog which it, it's kind of three keychains in one so basically you have this version of Sonic which kind of looks a little weird he's not he's not he's not horrible looking but he kind of looks a little weird um, and then you have on the top where it shows you the emblem for Sonic Heroes, which is pretty cool. And then you have the top part which shows you Sonic X. So basically, like I said, you have three things on one keychain. You have Sonic, you have Sonic Heroes and logo, and then you have the Sonic X logo. Um, but for a Euro, you can't go wrong. I picked it up. It's only a Euro, uh, so I grabbed that guy. And then there was this vendor selling these like mystery packages. Now I haven't opened them up yet. I have two, one I'm gonna keep sealed, which is this one, and then one that has the price on it. So uh, I picked this guy up um, and it has a, di a couple of different Sonic uh, characters like in different styles of the game. You got Amy from Sonic Boom, you have Sonic, you have Tails. And then on the back, you have a whole cast of all the Sonic characters. Now I'm gonna open up one of them up and I wanna see which character I'm gonna get. Uh, basically you have uh, all the big top hitters. So I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked that I wanna see what, what I got here. So we're gonna open it up one, and open the one with the price because I wanna keep the other one sealed. Let me see, who, who did I get? Ooh, okay, well, we got a card. Oh, we got three cards. All right, so it comes, from, it comes with some Sonic cards. So I got Amy from a Sonic Boom. I have Sonic from uh, his character. And then I got my man, who I'm wearing the t-shirt, that I'm wearing the shirt of, Silver. Uh, so you get some some uh, some cards. I didn't know you get cards. And you get a figure. So I got this really, really horrible uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and like Super Sonic. Look at this thing. This thing is horrendous. It looks like Freddy Krueger. Married, uh, married, uh, you know, Sonic's mother and had a baby. This is horrifying. Like the color, the paint, and everything. Like that, that is really ugly. At least the cards are nice. Oh, that is one freaky Sonic. But like I said, at least the cards are nice. I'm not gonna bother opening another one because that, that I want to keep sealed. That, that is really, really ugly. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. I, I just wanted you guys to see how, uh, how creepy it was. That is really creepy. Alright, so... When I went to Vizu, the first store, like I said, I really wanted to go to, it was my favorite, and that was Fnac. Uh, and when I was there, not only did I get the games, I got a lot of Sonic merchandise. One being this awesome Sonic the Hedgehog Mood Light which I've seen people post about it, but I've never seen this anywhere, anywhere here in Canada. Uh, and I found it at FNAC. It is 19.99 uh, euros. Uh, I picked it up. We're gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because I haven't opened it up yet. So I'm gonna pop that open. Now this runs on batteries. Well, it takes very small batteries. Very, very small batteries. Uh, so we, it's Sonic's awesome head. Uh, and it lights up. Uh, the only trouble is it takes uh, very many batteries. I gotta see if I have uh, small batteries for this guy. If not, I gotta buy some. Uh, but you'll be seeing this when I stream live on Twitch. It will be lit. Uh, Sonic is gonna be there. So 
got that for 19 euros. Uh, and like I said, items that I can't find, and it, I believe this one's a UK app only. Yeah, it's a, it's a licensed Sega product uh, and it's saying UK. So this is only uh, comes to North, uh, comes to uh, Europe, I'm guessing. If not, I'll probably find it someday and I'll probably buy another one. Uh, but I got that, which is gonna be pretty cool because I'm gonna have it where I stream. That's gonna be an awesome thing to show off. So I got that, so I'm gonna put this over here. I got lots of stuff, guys. Uh, and I also picked up this amazing statuette that uh, I've been looking for. Um, and this is from NEA Media uh, Icons. Now this I saw on um, one of my um, like Facebook pop-ups and it was from the company. This is only available in Europe. Uh, you can choose from three. There is an all blue one, the classic, and a black and white version of Sonic. I was able to find the color of my FNAC store and I paid 29 euros for this, which is a hell of a lot cheaper than what I would have paid if I would have had it shipped. And is it sealed? Oh, I think not, is it open? Let me see. It is, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it open or sealed. I think I'm gonna keep it sealed, but okay. Ooh, it's heavy. It's heavy and it's beautiful. So there we go, Sonic from his first game, uh, his look, and like I said, this this is heavy, guys. This is breakable, so be careful if you do buy this online. They, there is a, a link that you can search for it on uh, YouTube or on uh, Google if you want to buy this, guys. There's three. I wanted just the classic one because I love the classic look in Sonic and his colors. Uh, the black and white's cool, uh, and so is all blue, but it's just it doesn't doesn't really call my name. Like I like to have it in color. So like I said, I found that at FNAC for that nice cheap price, which is great. And I picked up right away. I, I That day I was so happy with all the stuff that I found in FNAC and in Viso. And I just, I, <laughs> I bought it all. I had a cool, cause even that says Sonic Hedgehog, nice. So that is just a quick, small unboxing and I showed you guys what you get. But I think I'm gonna keep this guy in the box. I don't know if I'm gonna take him out of the box. We'll see, I haven't decided yet. So I got that. I'll put it on the floor so I don't break anything. Uh, next up, I got this very, very amazing light up Sonic logo at FNAC for 29 euros. Uh, and this you'll be seeing live when I'm on Twitch. Uh, this will always be lit. Now this is powered by USB and it's powered by battery. So either or, I'm gonna open it up. I wanna see what it looks like cause I have not, uh, and I got my portable batteries. Maybe we can, uh, we can check it out. Take it out of the tree. Oh baby, that is sickly lovely. Okay, so I need to, I need to put a power, I don't have my power. So I can't light it up for you guys. I'll light it up next time, but uh, you can use power or USB. Uh, I'm gonna be using USB because like I said, using batteries after a while is gonna kill it. So I got the Sonic logo here that's gonna be lit every time I go live. You guys will see it. Uh, I love it. I love it so much. All the stuff that I found here in Portugal uh, as a Sonic massive fan is just insane. Uh, I was not expecting to find out that Sonic is just the capital of, of Portugal. Basically, if you guys saw the video I had playing behind me, uh, Sonic is everywhere. Throughout Samathus, he was everywhere. There was plushies you can win, there was uh, clothing you can buy, uh, so many different things that you can get there. Next up is an awesome shirt that I got from Rio de Sol at the Continent, and that is a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, sweater which I was not expecting to find. It's called, it says Sonic, uh, no speed limit, and it's black and white Sonic with Sonic red. Uh, a nice, plain, uh, licensed sweater, which I've never seen here in North America. Regular price was 12 euros. I got it for seven euros on sale. Uh, so I got some new Sonic stuff to wear. I'm very, very happy I picked that up. Uh, next up it is this is one that will make you guys laugh. Now, I picked this up in Fatima, which is basically the, um, the religious capital of the world. Uh, and it is this awesome Sonic the Hedgehog 
um, action figure set. Now, this isn't a licensed Sonic the Hedgehog product. Uh, you can tell because up here, Sonic is colored as Shadow. Uh, they didn't even use Shadow on the box, they just colored him. Uh, and you get Sonic, Knuckles, Werehog, uh, Dr. Robotnik, Super Sonic, and Metal Sonic here. Uh, and they, they're, they're horribly designed, but I just got them because I thought it was fun. Uh, you have a couple of different designs for the, uh, for the characters. You got the Sonic from the movie, you got Tails, you got uh, Amy and, so and Knuckles from Boom, Metal Sonic, Silver, and Shadow there. Uh, but even the coloring to some of these characters are horrible. I just got it because it was so fun. I'm always looking for different things. Like as a collector, you, you get the, the amazing stuff and you get the weird stuff. I thought that was just great because it is so weird. Um, next up, uh, I got, I think I paid, uh, I think that was like 14 euros, 14, 15 euros. Uh, next up is something that I've been looking for so badly and I've never been able to find it. I purchased it, uh, well, I pre-ordered it off of the GameStop website because like I said, GameStop is a horrible piece of garbage, but uh, I have not received yet a pop figure that I was supposed to get, and I found it all over Portugal in the Whartons, and I got this in Vizio, and it is the pop moments of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I've been looking for this so badly, so badly, I can't tell you guys, uh, and I found it in Vizio, and I was so happy because I bought two of them. Uh, so it's amazing. The only difference is that in Europe, they had the Genesis called the Mega Drive. Uh, we went with Genesis for our system, uh, but it's not too bad because uh, it's just, that's the only minor detail. Other than that, and a little sticker that says GameSwap, um, I was able to pick them up I'm so happy that I have two of them. So far, I do have the complete Funko Pop collection of Sonic the Hedgehog, um, and I'm just I'm so happy that I was able to find them. And they look so great. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is my favorite game of the series, other than Sonic Adventure, so I picked those guys up, got them. Next up, I'm gonna show you these little minifigures that I got in, um, in, a mall that is in Montijo. Now that is where we stayed before we left uh, for Canada. And there are these mini figures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So I got Tails, uh, which I'm trying to see uh, what this is done by. It's done by a, uh, a company, Play For Real. Yeah, I can't read the whole thing. I don't want to take it out of the package. Uh, but basically these were nine, nine euros each. I got Tails, Knuckles, Shadow and Sonic. So I got all four of these guys, which I love at that same store. Now inside that mall, I was able to find a used game shop where I found a game that I've been looking for for a while for the complete collection that is Sonic Rivals 2. I got it for five euros. Uh, now I was able to find this guy in Europeans you guys know how to keep your stuff in amazing condition. I got the booklet and the CD. Now the PSB is region free. You can play games only. You can't play the UMD movies. So it was like enough to get that for five euros. I've not been able to find it here in North America. Now the cream of the resistance, the one item that is above all the others, my favorite, favorite uh, souvenir that I got in Portugal. And I got it at the same place. And you guys know that I have so many copies of this game. Uh, this marks the 28th copy that I've purchased, and that is none other than Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Mega Drive. Now, of course, the Mega Drive is the um, is the genesis for us in North America. Uh, and look at this, guys. Absolutely mint copy of the game with the booklet in mint condition, the game cartridge in good condition, like mintish condition, which is great. The cover and the box are all mint. Now this is a PAL version, so this won't play on my Genesis, of course. This is just for display purposes. I'm trying to find a copy of the Japanese version for my display case, uh, but I'm so happy I got that. I got it for 42 euros at the same store, uh, but it just shows how amazing 
they you know they take care of their products uh, but that's all my stuff guys I have went through it all I want to thank you guys for joining me here it was one of the best trips of my life uh, you know, finding all the Sonic stuff was just incredible and all the other goodies that I got. Um, it, it, it was a trip that I won't forget and it just definitely makes me want to move to Portugal even more. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much. If you liked it, the video, hit it with a like, share it out. And if you like the channel very much, then hit it with a subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. And don't forget to check out my my uh, Twitch channel as well. The link is here on Twi on uh, YouTube. That will take you right to it. But that's all for me, guys. Now I gotta go and find a way how I'm gonna put this all in place. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a great rest of your summer, and I'll see you all very soon.